Right, hello and welcome to episode 22 of U Squad Legends Series 4. We've got a lot of things to go through before we start the games. Firstly, Killer Fatty 7's U Squad Project Episode 2 is available now. I'll put the link down in the description box. Please go check it out, it will help him immensely. On to the save, we've got a serious bit of news here. Jose de Menzes has turned down the contract extension I've offered and wants to change his career, move to somewhere else. So, you know what, I'm going to double his wages, £1,500 per week to keep him at the club. The final bit of news is that I asked you last time that we did a Youth Squad Legends Series 4 episode whether or not we should go on to Legendary Difficulty. Now the split was about 70-30 in favour of world class, staying on world class. But I propose something different. To make it feel like we're playing away from home, we should put the away matches up to legendary, but keep the home matches down at world class. Therefore when we play at home, it feels like the team is actually reacting to the fans cheering behind them. First game of this episode is Stevenage against York City. And it is an away game, so therefore we go into game settings and we put it up to legendary difficulty. And FIFA are fucking shouting at me, Mega Pikes are up for today only, don't miss out. I don't give a shit about Mega Pikes. Tell some twat who does Ultimate Team videos, who does unpacking episodes like they're going out of fashion. Not me. I don't give two flying fucks about your Mega Pikes. Oh my god, my formation has disappeared once again. So, guess what? I'm going to have to press 424, click edit. Oh, this is, this is fucking grand. How many times have I done this this year? Because the game can't save! The game cannot save its formations. How retarded is this game? This is the first time playing Legendary with the next-gen FIFA, so... You know what? Don't expect greatness from me. Hopefully, I can do... Do something right. Maybe pick up a point would be nice. But don't expect me to win the game. Oh, what a finish. Head it, head it. And again, Simmons. Ooh. Yeah, pure left back shot there. No power, no accuracy. I might have underestimated myself. We might have much more of a chance than what I think. Because there's not a lot of difference. It is exactly like the old gen of FIFA, they've had a good attempt there, but it's exactly like the old gen of FIFA, it's like world class, but they want to keep the ball more, you've got to think more about your passing. The ability to play the difficulty is the exact same, you've just got to be more clinical with your attempts. Oh, nice head on, Beavers, one on one with the keeper, the save has took it around the post. What a fantastic block by the keeper. Come on. Fenton. Oh, he's peeled off. Damn it. Azevedo. Fenton. Oh! Great block there. Go for it, Fiola. Oh, look how much quicker I am. Oh, this is just... How's he got the ball there? Why am I injured? Wow. 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 That, wow. And it's the 45th minute. You know when we were talking about uh, EA bullshit last night on the U Squad Legends Series 3 stream? It just happened again. Some days you just get that feeling that FIFA hates you and they want to poo on your face. Half time at 1 0 to Stevenage, but do they deserve that goal? Probably not. Especially with the way that they took it. My man had an injury, the sporting thing to do was to kick it out, but no, they played on, crossed it, and my keeper just made a complete mess of that delivery, and it ended up being a goal to Stevenage. Even worse, Fiola hasn't been able to shake off that injury, he's got a bruised shoulder, which I am going to sort out now, by taking him off and bringing on Bastos. Oh, you like my pass. Fury. And again, this is gorgeous. Oh, that deserved a goal. Oh, fuck off. 
really significant absence. Come on, Aral Skiss. Yeah, yeah, one or two Keep with him. That, uh, that Bastos has lost his man. He's not great. How, how is that lad? A centre bike. How has that gone in? What the fuck? Simmons. Azevedo. Fenton. Come on. This is nice. Puri. Yes. Very good. Fenton. Fake shot. Oh, he's got it again. Hits it. He hits it in the exact position the defender takes up. That oh brilliant. Full time. And it's 2-0 to Stephen H. And I feel like we've just been robbed out of a point, really. Both goals were complete enough to shite. Welcome to legendary difficulty. If they can't score properly, then they will fuck you up. Fiola's out for five days with that bruised shoulder. Well, this is a heartwarming scene, isn't it? York City, with the manager of Pascopo, he used to play for Chesterfield, obviously in an alternate dimension, but nevertheless, he did play for Chesterfield. And now Chesterfield come to York City, and we have a game of football here. York City against Chesterfield. Everybody within the camp. I thought they would finish quite hard. Tracky Bob Smith. Okay, had two chances at getting that ball. And Chesterfield score. What was Smith doing there? Them Tracky Bottoms were at fault for that goal. No one else. Just him to blame. Rios. Corto. Oh, that's nice. Corto was running on the wing. Rios found him. Nearly scored. Oh, what's Arowski's done? Oh, two defensive mistakes. Could have been two goals. Fernando de Silva in the net has gathered the ball and we somehow survived that attack. Give it to Corto. He's the most likely to do something, to do damage. He's off. Corto, what a pass to find Fenton. Yes, put it into the back of the net. It's all thanks to Corto. He's walking away like it didn't mean much. But he is the playmaker. He is the man. Oh, step up. Why don't you, Tracky Bottom Smith? So many defensive mistakes happening. That's a terrible slide challenge on the keeper. Get him booked. Referee. What the fuck? He's not even received a booking for that. Fenton. Oh, yes. Jakovic is through and onside. Oh, his teammate has blocked the run of a defender and he's missed. Great. Well done, Jakovic. Second half at 1 1. We've got to push on and get ourselves a winning goal here because we know every away game from now on is on legendary difficulty. Head it. Oh, well, it wasn't the best header by Aralskis, but the touch has made it safe for us. Simmons. Here's Corto. Come on, lad. Oh. No, not Corto. Not after the game he has just played. Are we going to pick up an injury every single fucking game this season? Seriously. Is that what's going to happen? Jakovic. Corto's back up and running. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Corto, that was delicious. And unfortunately, that's a goal kick because he's hit Fenton and gone out. De Menzies. Oh, he's still got it. And still, Jose De Menzies. You know, show me that you need a new contract, son. That's strength. And he's got it again. Oh, go on, keep going. Keep hassling Smith. Oh, he doesn't know what to do. Oh! Oh, this is fantastic stuff. Oh, God. Come on, head it. Yes, keeping the possession now. This is good. Cresswell to cross. Right, it's a corner. Come on. This has got to go in. We're not very good at corners. I can't remember the last time we actually scored from a corner. Cresswell takes. Ugh, tracky bomb, Smith. No, Rios. Long Ranger. Ah, oh, always rising. That's full time at 1 1. It's not the result we wanted. Not at all. Maybe the shine of a new season is wearing thin. About that new contract offer, please be good news. I've decided to sign the new contract. I'm going to stay at the club after all. 
Johnson's Paint Trophy at home against Wimbledon. I'm pretty sure last season in the Johnson's Paint Trophy, we went out in the first round. So here's hoping for a better tournament this year. Blasi will throw it to Smith, who is wanting a better result than last game, I'm presuming. Because he alone was the man responsible for us dropping two points against Chesterfield. Blasi! Urgh! The shot was straight at the keeper. Chavez isn't going to win the header. Oh, good pass that. Aya Banjo's just been completely took out of the game. And that is a goal for Wimbledon. And York City are in a world of trouble right now. After not winning their last two games, they're on the verge of making this a kind of mini crisis by losing to Wimbledon. Oh, Smith has completely missed the guy there. That's going to be a booking. Is it going to be 2-0? No, keep a save. And the referee is going to come back. Oh, and there, what do you know? It's a yellow card, even though it's much better looking than that challenge on the goalie. Oh my God, what a pass. And, of course, Oyabanjo has missed that. Wow, 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 fucking wow. How the hell did Oyabanjo completely miss the slide tackle? But what's going on there, lads? What, what is happening? Oh, and the great save by the keeper has coincidentally gone to the only Wimbledon man who isn't marked. Well played. Well, well played. What a disastrous first half that was. Smith, get off my field, mate. You have just been diabolical. Caterino, Ayala, run. Run, Ayala. I'm asking a player with not great physical attributes to just run for us. And he has done well. Ayala to cross. McGoob! We're back in it. We're back in this tie. Come on. We have 35 minutes to do something here. Caterino takes one player out. Somehow it's a play on. Piss off. Caterino got that ball. Oh, fuck off. No, Ayabanjo's not having a great game either. Mistiming his tackles. And doing that. Come on, lads. Shape up. Blasey, head down. All right, then. Piss off. Magoob. Oh, that fake shot. Magoob. Oh, you fucking legend. The man from Egypt has done an amazing thing here. Oh, my God. The pass is great. It's against Oyabanjo. Wow. Fucking wow. Oyabanjo has just not been at the races today. After coming back from that shit first half, we blow it again. And this time we have about 10 minutes to recover. Brilliant. Oh, win the header, dude. What the fuck is going on? And that's full time. Because obviously the referee will not give us any sort of injury time. Magoo's brilliance has just been cancelled out by an average AFC Wimbledon side. A league below us, lads. Does that not piss you off one bit? I'm sorry not to deliver the results this episode, but you know what? It's a bit different, obviously. I'm sure you guys don't want me to steamroll at every league that I play in. This has been Cutsy. Thank you for watching. Please like the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. There's so much more content on the way. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.